Hello, hello. Hopefully people can join up here. I'm gonna wait a few minutes before I start walking. This is the Baltimore Washington National, uh, Baltimore, Baltimore Washington International Fountain Pen Show, or uh, B Whips, as we call it around here. Uh, and uh, it's uh, you come in the front door of the hotel, go past the bar and eatery, and then we are in the grand ballroom meeting rooms, which are back here. Hello, hello. If you're a slacker and can post it to Slack, that would be awesome. Oh, my hair is all sticking up. I didn't even know that today. All right, so uh, the show goes until six today, so nobody has really gone home. We'll have a good uh, bunch of vendors. Uh, hey, Rick. <laughs> and uh, so, uh, yeah, let's get going. Hey, Laura, welcome. So as you come in, let me flip the camera around. As you come in, you have uh, this... Uh, oh, let me get my microphone situated. There we are. Hey, NYC, what's up? So you'll come in this way. This is where you buy tickets. You can use cash, credit, or debit, it says on the sign, which is nice. Our friendly door folks here at the table. There's Corinne. See, you're on the video. <laughs> I was just giving her a hard time. <laughs> here in the, well, <laughs> then here in the, uh, in the lobby outside here, actually there I think are a couple of tables that go around this direction. Hey Alex, what's up? Hey, aloha from Hawaii, awesome. Uh, and then over here, yep, there's Mark Backus, the nib grinder. Nobody at your table right now, Mark. What's going on? What is this? So uh, if you're watching this live, um, uh, get, your, uh, get your butt over here to the Baltimore Pin Show and you can actually get your nib ground. We have a lot of awesome nib grinders here. Uh, of course, my favorite is, is this dude, but uh, don't tell him. Good. Yeah, yeah, good. Yeah, good. <laughs> Mark Backus is out here. You can sign up online for spaces. There might be a couple available. I don't know if they're sold out or not, but you can sign up online there. And over here, we have Tasha. We have inks, uh, pens, with the, uh, pens with maquillage, pens with arushi, pens with, hey Beth, what's up? Pens with uh, all kinds of fun things here. You're inside, just walk past the grinding booth, come in. <laughs> nice. Nice. Then Sailor is here. I actually haven't been out here in the uh, in the lobby yet, so I didn't know they were here. But you can find your Sailor inks. They've got Oasis notebooks. Hi. <laughs> hey, folks. You can find those here right as you walk in the door. There are some Sailor. Uh, there is a Sailor ink for pen shows. Um, right here. Yep. Ben showing right here. It's kind of a minty green. These are 25 bucks a bottle? Right on. Thank you. You can find these here. And all three of these doors actually go into the pin show. I'm going to go this way first. Uh, if you got the VIP pass, there are bags, fancy written uh, name tags, etc. The table that just looks like uh, Organic Studios, that's Tyler down there. He is a local ink maker. And we have Main Street pens right out here in the lobby with uh, Ron and Robin Zorn. Uh, they do uh, uh, all kinds of pen repairs. So if you have a pen that needs repaired, Ron is a great guy to go to. Also has some pens for sale here in the... Uh, what was the sailor bottle? The sailor bottle was the um, the fountain pen uh, ink for the pen shows. So you can only really get that at pen shows, I think is the deal. And then next up we have uh, Josh Lax, pen grinder. Told you, all kinds of nib grinders here. Uh, we have here also Damien, all in the nib, a new nib grinder around this area. I haven't gotten to try any of his stuff, but he's got pre-ground nibs and he's doing grinds at the show. Oh no, you're fine, I'm just walking through. So find him also in the lobby. And uh, let's see over here, more lax stuff. It's got some pens for sale. Also some testers. Oh, what color? It's like a minty green, Beth. I think it's a little bit light for me maybe, but I know the light uh, undersaturated inks are kind of the big thing right now. And then this side over here is uh, all toys in the attics. This is all Mario Campos stuff. And this guy. He's got uh, 
What's up, doctor? Hey, how's it going? Doctor? I'm not a doctor. What is this? Uh, it's doctor and Mr. Madison at our house. <laughs> so, he's got pins here, new and vintage. Pin cases. Thanks, Evan. Writing masks. I'm going to have to get, or uh, writing uh, uh, mats. I'm going to have to grab one of those before the show's over. I keep forgetting. I need one for the office. Sure, logos, Mont Blancs, Encoras. You don't see Encoras all that often, but look at this guy. Very neat. Watches. I think he has a guitar or two. Yeah, there's a guitar over there in the corner. Royal blue leather pin case look nice. Yeah. Uh, wait, royal blue leather one? Um, I think. I think it's actually black. These guys. These are actually. These are actually black. So, uh, uh, let's see. Clicked away to miss the top of Yas's head. Yeah, you did. Uh, there's Yas. Got him. He's got him digging in a box. <laughs> oh, bottom right. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. There's one right here. I totally missed that. Let's see. Yeah, it's magnet. It's actually uh, magnetic. This is a nice little pin case. Very cool. So yeah, you can find those here at Toys in the Attic. Thank you so much. Toys from the Attic. Pardon. Then let's go over this way and go into the show. Yeah, I think it's got nice lines actually, that pin case. And it doesn't really look like any of the other pin cases I've seen around. This geek right here, this pin geek, 13, uh, has a table, he's doing a uh, share the wealth table inside where you can find all kinds of cool stuff. Uh, who else uh, donated things for the Share the Wealth Day? We had uh, Yaffa Brands donated a huge amount. Uh, we had Pen Boutique donated some from Columbia and Bertram's Inkwell, and a ton of fountain pen and pen users have donated a bunch. Oh, right. It's been awesome. awesome. We have uh, three and a half boxes full of stuff for the weekend now. Nice. Yeah, it's awesome. Thank you. Good shout out. I appreciate it. Of course. Uh, I'll go by the table in there too. But um, yeah, so um, we head on in there and you can uh, get all kinds of cool stuff. Just go by the table and just like pick some stuff up. I mean, use some decorum. Don't take everything. Bland hotel art. Oh, yeah, you got to love the bland hotel art. It's the best. Let's see if I can mount my, uh, my, my, uh, my microphone here so I can use my hands. <laughs> Last week we did a Mad Libs on here. And I'm going to do a little Mad Libs with some of the, uh, uh, with some of the vendors. Hey, you want to give me a, uh, a plural noun for a Mad Lib? Dogs? Done. Thanks. <laughs> hey, Mark, give me an adjective. Yeah, for some Mad Libs. Polished? Great. <laughs> all right, let's go in this door. I hope it's unlocked. Hey, it is. Earlier today, the doors were all locked, and so they magnetically locked, and you couldn't get in if you went outside. So I'm glad that's fixed itself. All right, so this is the main ballroom. It's all pretty much in one ballroom this year, which is pretty cool, I think. It's a nice big ballroom. <laughs> it is pretty comfortable. Uh, there are some spots that are oddly cold, but the rest of it is pretty nice, so. <laughs> Dr. Hodger just yelled, it's cold. You know, you're cold and also Coles of London is in like a really frigid pocket down there. I saw them walking in and they had cups of coffee and they're like, I told you it's cold. She's wearing a full on like, like London fog jacket back there. And I was like, why are you wearing a jacket? And I walked up near her, I'm like, oh my God, it's cold, freezing. But you know, you move three feet away, it's totally fine. Yep. All right, so uh, Audrey, because I, I know you, um, we're doing a little Mad Libs here. We need a person in the room who is a male. People are saying hi to you, Dr. Audrey. She... Ian. Sean. Cool. You like the Mad Libs? All right. So, uh, yeah, we're, we're working on the Mad Libs. Uh, the title is Spy Hall of Fame. There's a lot of these. Hey, Scott, give me a, give me a number. Okay. 
I don't know. It's fun. <laughs> How are y'all doing today? Having fun? You're, you're kind of caught up right now, which is pretty good. Yeah. Right on. So uh, if you're uh, watching this live, get down here by uh, Franklin Kristoff. Yeah. There, <laughs> there are some people that are, uh, that are in line. So um, let's see what they have on the table here. I've actually only been by here once. I have a table right now, too. So. Oh, look at that. That is a lot of glitter. Actually, I think Audrey has a pin that's all that material. I'll show you later if you come by the table. <laughs> show exclusives indeed. In fact, I think these are all pretty much prototypes. A few of them are ones that have popped up online uh, in the recent past. Some of them are production line, but a lot of show prototypes here. Get in here. These 55s are actually really cool. They're in this rank right here. And uh, they're number five nib, but I think they're a really nicely uh, made pen. And that ink window is very cool. It's exactly right for a converter. Here's Kimberly hard at work. John Veely not at his table. Not doing pencils? What? What? I'm just not doing them right now. John Veely, a uh, well-known pencil guy. And then here, uh, all kinds of cases in their... Um, uh, wood fiber materials, all kinds of things. I like this. Um, I like this gray they have here too. Also, they have them in boot leather now. So these, these are actually boot leather in that new uh, that new form. Thank you after long hiatus. Well, welcome back, Wolverine. Let's see. And here, oh, inky experiments. I'm gonna see some inky experiments in here. Doing some drawing and such. Very cool. Then we have Crazy Allen's Emporium going down this direction. Uh, all kinds of ink, pens, paper. <laughs> probably, the only, probably the only place in the room you're gonna find G2s. <laughs> it's so easy to lose people in here. <laughs> and then. Crazy Friday. Good. So we're Good. selling a lot of paper. Right on. You and probably have the most paper in the and, room. And we now have Sailor products. So we have Sailor pens, paper, and ink. Hey, nice. And some guy just bought me out a nine, a one size notebook in Sailor and a few assorted others. And I'm like, well, we're almost out of Sailor paper now. All right, cool. But uh, yeah, yeah, so it's. Well, congrats on getting the sailor stuff. Well, thank That's you. Nice. My brother's very happy to do it. He didn't get. He the guy wanted him when he was sick and having surgeries, and he, yeah, so yeah. we saw him in Philly uh, Friday night in Philly, and he says you'll see it in Baltimore. So very nice pens. Right on. Yes. Well, we'll go see some. Thanks. Okay. Thank you. Also, dip pens. Also. Some more vintage sort of things in here. Uh, faceted Namiki, it looks like. Hey. There's some sailor boxes. Here's a Liz. How's it going? Pretty good. You having a good time? Yeah. Staying yeah. busy? Staying busy. You, you want to play Mad Libs? Sure. I need a. Uh, I need an adjective. Expensive. Wait. Ex is okay. that an adjective? <laughs> yeah. Sorry, that's just kind of what pops to mind at a pen show. That's what cool. all the pens that I want to buy are. <laughs> They're expensive. <laughs> right on. Uh -huh. All right. Well, I'll do the Mad Libs at the end, so it'll be good times. Well, fun. <laughs> and then the whole rest of these are uh, luxury brands. The luxury brands folks down here. But here we have all kinds of fun stuff. So um, I've just gotten some of these Prefonte pens. Your dog is watching? That's awesome. I like having, uh, I'll count that as two viewers then. Here is from Tokyo. Oh, Scott, you're still in Tokyo. That's awesome. Very cool. So we have some Prefontes here. Uh, I have just gotten a couple of Prefontes, and they are really darn good. Uh, one of them has a little bit of a wonky nib, which uh, isn't great, but um, the other one is awesome. And uh, I like the material a lot, so totally worth it. And then here is the Curados which, uh, as I hear, somebody messed up. So this is like the only one around, uh, maybe the only one around in the States. And um, it doesn't, uh, it's a little bit wonky with regard to retracting. Somebody is, uh, 
So he's messed it up a little bit. But um, I think it's actually a very nice looking pen. It's, I mean, it's weird, but uh, it's girthier than you'll get from the vanishing points. And uh, this little nub and little goatee thing on the bottom uh, it doesn't bother me at all. It's actually in front of where I would put my fingers. So I'm looking forward to getting my hands on one of these for real, uh, not just like a pin show one that I have to put back. <laughs> they won't give me that one. I already tried. Uh, and then here you have all kinds of platinums, some really beautiful platinums in here. The entire platinum test series is over here. So if you want to try any of their nibs, I think my next platinum nib has to be a C. We don't have those kind of shows in the Netherlands. Oh yeah, well you got to get one. Got to get one in the Netherlands for sure. I know there are several European ones, but I couldn't tell you where exactly. Waldman pins made in Germany. Bennu pins. All manner of various sparkly things from Bennu. New tattoo series. A whole lot of things from Colorverse. Uh, I was really having a chuckle over the map of Mars and then Mars attacks. I really like that. And then life on Mars down here. You have these little uh, worm looking dudes. You have the Einstein ring. I love the, uh, I love the themes on these things. For Picnic Brown, Anita's. There are two Colorverse uh, show inks. We have here uh, Constellation Ship and Oriole Feather. I bought both of those, so we'll have those on the blog here soonish. Uh, but uh, find those if you come to the show for sure. Ink misers, which are actually really useful for all kinds of things including, um, oh, that was the first one you had ground? Well, I would get Mark to grind one too, maybe. Uh, but if you use like dip pens and such, the ink miser is really, really cool for that as well, I hear. Noodler pens, including the new Triple Tail, Noodler's Ink, Colorverse Ink. Here's with those two, oh, pardon me. Here's with those two new, uh, two new inks are like. There's a Constellation Ship right here. And then, uh, Oriole Feather and uh, the other Constellation ship. They're done in two different ways. So you get a lot of sheen off of this one. Sold it for some reason. Ah, well, sometimes you need the cash. And then, of course, you can also get them in singles, which is very nice. I like the new singles on these. Hey, you want to help out with the Mad Libs? I need a, I need a noun. Yep. No, nope, on the spot, noun. You can do it. What do we? What? We need a noun. Hospital. Hospital. Okay, help him with an ad lib. Okay, all right. Oh, Bryce wants in. All right, I need part of the body. We're a family show, Bryce. <laughs> part of the body. Elbow. Elbow. First time came to mind. Right on. Perfect. Thank you, sir. Yep. <laughs> and then, <laughs> this is a show. <laughs> and then uh, here we have all the drum ghoul stuff. So uh, you will find them easily by the uh, bright red uh, tablecloths, but also this big rack of ink, which has a whole lot of ink on it. I'm glad they drive here. Hope they're hoping for some better gas mileage on the way home, selling off some ink. So come buy some ink from them, uh, including all kinds of uh, Mont Blanc exclusive ink up there, uh, limited edition stuff. Uh, the Colorverse stuff, the Twisby ink sets. Oh, what are these guys? Oh, some Tasha inks. I'm not familiar with what these are. I'm going to have to check these out because I do like Tasha inks. I have several and I've liked all of them. So, and then also, of course, uh, Seven Cs. You don't find Seven Cs very often, uh, but you can find microdots and cross fields and writers and all that stuff over here. These are quite good. Also, this is the thing that Audrey I haven't had a chance to do. Uh, is the paper tasting. So you can get the paper tasting uh, notebooks over here as well. And these are pretty cool. They have inside of them uh, lots of different kinds of paper for you to try out, two or three sheets of each one. And uh, they tell you what they are. You can do like a blind paper testing, which is what Audrey and I are planning to do. Eventually we'll have a video like that. Uh, but a uh, really cool way to try out all kinds of really interesting Japanese papers especially. And then, let's see, going down here, there's a Sandra. WF Cupcake Girl on the interwebs. Those are cool boxes. Those are cool boxes. I'm gonna have to find out more stuff about them. Hey, Ink Guy, what's up? They have here all kinds of Twisbees. These are all uh, inked up with the different uh, nib sizes and such, which is very helpful to have. They've got some Sailors here. They've got some Estabrooks. You got the little Twisby bottles, which are cute. They've got uh, Metros, the MRs, the Explorers. You don't see the Explorer very often, but it's a very nice little pen. I no problem with that Explorer. And all kinds of twiz, uh, Twisbees, pilots here. 
Darkwing, 74 is vanishing points. Falcons. Green from that line does a cool brown shifting thing. Oh, neat. I'll have to check that out. Brown and green, huh? Uh, 823 is one of my very favorite pens. Viscontis, Leonardo's, yeah, Peniter. Some drum ghouls. A Mark, he's at the wrong table. Hold a minute, I'm Mike, I'm at the right table. Oh. This is the this is drum ghouls, this is the right table. I mean you weren't at your table. No, my Pardon me, I misspoke. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you're trying to get out of the cold is what you're doing. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's right here. It's crazy no, Freezing down no, there. Walk down by her and you'll see why she's wearing a pea coat. It's absurd down there. It's like, I was like, why are you wearing a coat? And then I took one step forward and like, oh no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, thanks very much, Kevin. I appreciate that. Thanks for the super chat, man. Also got pelicans in here. More paniders. And then the real nice stuff over here. What's your favorite thing on the, on the table here, man? Oh my gosh. Well, I'm biased. It's got to be a Visconti. Of and I'm I knew that was going to happen. Oh, I don't know. I'm probably going to go with the blue moon, I imagine. That is The watermark cool. blue moon. I actually don't think I've seen this one before. Tell me about this pen. So, okay. Sterling silver. This is all sterling silver with a black ruthenium finish. And it's actually the Visconti logo replicated. The V of the Visconti logo, you can kind of see over here, replicated down the side of the pen and up the cap. Uh, cut out filigree, blue resin underneath. Well, the blue demo resin, 18 karat gold nib, and this is the double reservoir power filler. Nice. Pretty sweet pen. That is pretty sweet. I dig it. All right, guys, I'm doing a uh, pin show Mad Libs, and so I need some, uh, some words. I can get this stupid thing to. Hold on a second. Oh, this is impossible. Never mind. Dude, ah, oh, so good. It's quite amazing that you can do all this like this from an iPhone. I, I mean, know. If you think about it. It's it's a massive computer in my pocket. I love it. I mean, really. I mean, back in the day, you would need like... I know. I would need a room full of electronics. What is Our, a Mad Lib? Uh, a Mad Lib is like a story, but you don't look at the story ahead of time. It gives you the parts of speech. Uh, so I need an adjective. Michael? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know anymore. <laughs> it anymore. It's a word that describes a noun. Do you have one? You want to help him out? Uh, well, you got to give me the noun. I don't have one. You can't. You can't have. You can't have the noun. That's the thing. If you did, then it. Would, okay. What? It's not an adjective. It's an adjective. Yes, it is. No. Jump is a verb. That's a. That's a past tense verb. Mom, don't watch this. My mom's an English professor. She's losing her mind right now. Is what's going on. She's. She's. She's quietly screaming. I know you were just testing, and like you have one, huh? Brilliantly. That's a. It's an adverb. Uh, let's see if we have. Oh my God! He's getting oh, too technical. What is this? School for twenty years. Oh man! <laughs> All right, I'll let you give me the noun. I've got a plural noun. What do you? What do you? What do you got? All right, pens. Uh, fine. Uh, yellow. I'm escaping when you're gonna do this. Okay. He thinks he's escaping, but he's just going to the next table. This is not a this is not a good escape plan. All right, we'll see you, man. <laughs> so go to Drum Ghouls, find that cool pen, right there. This man will gladly sell it to you. <laughs> Pardon me, guys. <laughs> Here we have Trench, si Trenche. Tell me about these pens. I'm doing a little live stream on YouTube. Oh, okay. My husband makes this. We are from Puerto Rico, and we bought some wood pens from uh -huh. Puerto Rico. We have Algarrobo, uh, Black uh, Cobana Negra, another exotic wood from the island. So that's Beautiful. part of his work. He makes uh, fountain pens. Mm -hmm. And he makes also rollerballs and other pens. You can find us on Facebook or Instagram as Trenche Design. Here's where you can find them. There we go. Whenever you find go to Puerto Rico, here. you can find us. Awesome. <laughs> it's awesome to have an international uh, flavor here. Thank you very much. <laughs> hey, Blake, heist it? Yeah, I could definitely heist it. There we go. Uh, here we have Visconti. 
and a pea coat because it is it's legitimately cold right now. Yeah, I've, <laughs> we were talking about it. It's cold. <laughs> All right, so I warned you you're gonna have to talk about something. Do you find something you want to talk about? Um, or you just been over here shivering? I've just been shivering. Um, we have the new Il Magnifico, the lapis. It's made Very out cool. of solid lapis lazuli. This is the rollerball version. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. People yeah. need rollerballs yeah, too. Yeah, rollerballs are important. Um, 188 pieces. Um, it's just a stunning pen. This is gorgeous. Really nice details on the cap. Yeah, especially. that's the Medici family cross. So it's the Flor de Lis. Nice. Thanks very much. Yeah. See you around. It's more of Visconti over here. And Esti Dupont. <laughs> They've got Michael here wearing. They got Michael here wearing gloves. Selling luxury. <laughs> you can tell it's luxury because you have to wear gloves. <laughs> so, I'll show you. So. <laughs> Some X-Wing action for you here. I opened this one up. It's actually also a rollerball. I was, I was very disappointed. But What about this one? Do you have any idea? Sorry, no idea. I'll ask the gentleman in a minute. Well, it's got a rollerball section sitting there, so I'm guessing there's a fountain pen in it. A lot of times you can convert them. <laughs> no, I'm doing live video. <laughs> and then here in this corner, which is kind of the back left corner of the ballroom, uh, we have all kinds of interesting things, including uh, Parker cases, so which are very cool. I mean, look at this. I mean, how many pens could you stick in this guy right here? Only 520 bucks. You can get it home. And then this is Martin. So these are all Martin's uh, Martin's things. Martin is back here. Uh, just, he's doing repairs, as many as he can get his hands on. If you have a pen that is busted, bring it to Martin. He's a good dude. Also come back here and check out uh, the vintage and modern stuff that he has for sale. We got pen holders. We got pen pieces. We've got uh, cross pens. We've got uh, 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 pilots. We've got an assortment of things probably from his collection. Esther Brooks and such that are, that are new. He's, I'm not going to bother him because he's, he's making a sale, hopefully. Yeah, everybody, is, uh, everybody here at the show has been talking about uh, Jonathan Brooks a little bit. Yeah, the themed pens from Esther Dupont are really cool. So It's just they're also very expensive. And then here, this is Edison Pen Company out of Ohio. There they are, the Grays. They have a rainbow of pens out here on the table. Although, I gotta say, this pink one is really uh, just popping out to me right now. It's good they brought lighting. I also really like this guy right here. Really beautiful. The Mina level, which is a very interesting shape of a pen. I'm into it. Yeah, look there. You can find them. This way, edisonpen.com. Put that back in there. There's Brian. Pardon me. <laughs> yeah. Nib testers, too. Very nice. Yep. <laughs> you have anything you want to tell people about? All right. It says, come out to the show. It's a blast. Back corner. You can't miss him. He's got a very tall standard. Very high sign, so we can see us back here. That's good. Uh, I probably ought to go back down the other aisle, actually. So I'm going to go this way. Oh, is he back? Hey, man. Do a little live YouTube. Do a little live YouTube. You want to tell some people about some pens? Oh, this is a YouTube high five for everybody on there. <laughs> right on, man. Oh, it was yeah. your seminar. You gave a seminar earlier today, right? Yes. It was, it was called Our Pens, Our Stories. Um, diving deep into kind of looking past the physical of a yeah. pen and what does it mean? Why is it significant? How do we and, and what makes us identify with it and feel so strongly about these writing instruments? Nice, yeah. man. Does it go well? Beautifully. Good. I mean, I, I didn't know it was going to happen. I thought we were probably going to have like two people show up. Yeah, you never know with those, we right? Had, we had a full room and super engaged attendees. Good. Really great discussion. That's what you want. Yeah. Okay. Good to see you again. We'll see you later. Awesome. Take care. Let me pass this a little bit. 
There are some of his pens. I don't want to get in folks' ways, but there we go. He started out doing kit pens a year or two ago, and it looks like he's uh, progressed to making all stuff. There we go. That's how you find them. It's the other Michael, the other, other Michael at the pen show. You should go to a pen show if you can. Sick for months? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Jonathan's, uh, yeah, he's he's been sick for a little while off and on. And here, we got uh, Gingy Chocolatier. This is Guy here. If you want truffles, chocolate. Uh, they had some chocolate-covered espresso beans that I was munching on uh, at the DC show. We were neighbors. We got some vintage in here. I interrupt. Chocolate pens. Yeah, don't mistake the chocolate for the pens. Hey, man, you have a table? Yes, I do. I'm down over there. This is Jerry. He's additive pens. He's got a table down there somewhere. We'll come down there eventually. <laughs> All right. More pens and ink. Parts pens, it looks like. Some vintage. Nibs for pen holders and dipping. <laughs> yeah, weekly's table, always a bit of a mess, but you can find some cool stuff in here if you wanna if you wanna deal with this guy, I don't know. Ask them if they can read this. What do you think it says? Well you too could be a uh, a, a proofreader at Parker. It's the Bill Clinton impeachment pen and it really says on tied state senate. <laughs> it hundred percent does, that's awesome. Oh, very cool. There's a, like a glare in it, but yeah. very nice, <laughs> very nice. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of appropriate. An untied Senate when they did it, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, always got to throw some politics on my channel. We have Jerry Berg. Jerry mostly restores vacuum fillers, Parker vacs, and such. He's an excellent vac restorer. Have you handled the Leonardo Messenger yet? No, I haven't actually seen it yet. We have all kinds of other things, vintage. Some modern. Mainly Esther books. Mainly Esther books. Yeah, I do Esther books a lot. More vintage. More and more vendors are taking cards. There you go. There's Hirsch. How you doing, folks? Yeah, it is a nice show. A little bit, a little bit chill today, but you know. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, nice. So Hirsch and I are going to be twins at future pin shows. Looking forward to it. <laughs> I've started a trend, is what I hear. <laughs> Got some wheeling and dealing going on here. Cliff Harrington with all kinds of vintage pins here on the table. There's more vintage at this show than you see sometimes at other shows. And if anybody tells you vintage pins are boring, do not believe them. Look at the colors available here even. Yeah. <laughs> nice Cliff. Hey. hey, how's it going, Howard? Doing all right, man. Let's see all kinds of Bexleys, etc. here. Heavy on the etc. today. Hi, how are you? Jeweled pens. If you would like to get something bedazzled, this table, you can't miss it. Let me scoot back a little bit. You can't miss this table. <laughs> What did you miss so far? Oh, I don't know. Probably a lot of stuff, JC. What are you coming in late for? What is this? <laughs> so, there you go. <laughs> uh, and you can find her stuff here. Simone Jeweled Pens on Instagram. Yeah. A lot of grammar talk. That's true. <laughs> there has been some. Oh, I've been forgetting to get words. Would you like to help with the Mad Libs? Mad Libs. You remember Mad Libs, right? Yeah. Were you like, 
Too Young for Mad Libs, it's like a story, but we don't tell you what the words are. You just give us like a part of speech. So like, right now I need a part of the body. It's a family show. The heart? Good. Very fun. Thanks. <laughs> Some fun ephemera here. I don't recognize any of this. Oh, it's an online auction. Well, look at that. Pens, pencils, ink wells, and desk accessories. Find that at uh, online auction and estate sales. Really interesting. So I guess you don't buy anything here. You just uh, start for the estate sale online. Neat. More vintage. Hey, Robo Jim, what's up? I thought you were coming to this show. We got a couple empty tables here. As usual on a on a Friday, uh, not everybody's here yet. People will be showing up more tomorrow than uh, than today. Hey, how's it going, folks? Yep, yeah, I've been to a couple of shows with y'all before. Yes, How we you have. We do the circuit. Yep. Yeah. It looks like you're holding like a Star Trek sort of like. Yeah. It's uh, it's a little high tech, but. It's very high. Yeah. <laughs> I think that might be able to give me a diagnostic scan. I can't. No, I'm not a doctor. Maybe no. next year. Yeah, next year, right. Next year I'll be handing out diagnostics. There you go. <laughs> here, talk about that. And here's your blood pressure. And your uh -huh. That's it. <laughs> All kinds of things here on this table. Yeah, I'm doing some Mad Libs. You want to help out with the Mad Libs? Well, maybe. Go ahead. Let's see. I need an adjective. Beautiful. Oh, he looked at you when he said it. So. Oh, well, he called me cruel cool before, so I don't know. No, I say cool. <laughs> Very nice. Thanks, folks. <laughs> Couldn't get Friday off. Well, that's all right. Hopefully, it'll come up uh, you'll, too young for Mad Libs. Yeah, I know. Uh, we are old. That's true. Hey, folks. How's it going? Oh, hey, how are you? All right. Yeah, all kinds of eye candy, vintage eye candy in here. Oh, no, you're fine. Don't worry about it. Michael, are you vintage eye candy? What's up? Are you vintage eye candy? <laughs> He's admitting to being vintage eye candy over here. <laughs> and ephemera. Right out of the box. Do you come with papers, though? I don't know. That's important. <laughs> I don't understand how it won't be too long for Mad Libs. I think you can. I don't know if they do them anymore. We have all kinds of cool leather. Ah, story supply. Oh, hey, hey, how's it going? What's up? Hi, how are you? You know, doing a little live video, you know, for the kids. Showing people what pin shows are like, that kind of thing. Do a little Mad Libs. You want to help out? Mad Libs. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I need a, uh, I need a noun. Noun? Yep. Yep. Dog. Dog? Wow. It's harder than I thought to write on random surfaces with a ballpoint while holding a camera and a microphone in the other hand. Yeah. So what do you have? Uh, what do you have, man? What do you want to tell us about? Sure. We got some cool stuff here that's usually not available in the store. Yeah. We can describe the Larry. They were uh, part of their membership boxes. Yeah. Um, some of the heart of gold ones from last year that are Doc Grant. Oh yeah, I've got some of those. We got some retros on the table. Get those retros while you can. That's right. Some rickshaw goods, a few Karas, some really nice leather covers. I have one of these I keep my gardening notebooks in. Goes in the garden with me a lot. These things are great. Here are a bunch of them in a stack. <laughs> Very cool. Thanks so much. You can find them at storysupply.com. Right there. Yeah. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Sprinkle some salt on them. Oh, man. Let's throw some salt over your shoulder. Oh, hey, it's Tom. What's up? And D. Uh, how you doing, Tom? I'm doing well. That's good. You're I'm looking good for a dude who just got hit by a truck. Beautiful lady. How can I not be doing well? What a flatterer. I know. <laughs> Tom was recently uh, uh, wrecked in his car. Jaws of life were employed, but he made it to the pin show. So he's got his priorities straight. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I know. Right after a knee replacement. Finally gets up and around, and then, uh, I know, timing, timing. Let's come find him. He's actually right uh, right here by the front doors. You can't miss him. All manner of pelican. Yeah. 
And you're doing uh, you're doing uh, uh, calligraphy class and um, American cursive and writing and oh, right. origami. And origami. I knew there was another thing. Audrey really wanted to take that class, but she's working. So, <laughs> but so come out here to the Burlington uh, Burlington to the Baltimore Pin Show. Do some origami. Thanks, Hog. We're here. All right. Um, this table that I am walking next to is part of the uh, state sale group. It had inks on it earlier. We have Hardy pen rights. All kinds of pens. You can find them Hardy pen rights on Instagram and hardypens.com. Burlington would be even colder. It depends on the Burlington. I live next to a Burlington too. Vermont though, too cold. I really like these clips. These hammered clips are really cool. Yeah, yeah, Burlington, Vermont, very cold. I have family in Burlington. Really nice city, too cold. And let's go this way. Hey, Carl. So if you're looking for uh, the uh, Tom Blanchard uh, estate sale, there are some pens left. There's some inks left. You'll find them over here uh, near the entryway. Big bins full of pens. Why are you wearing pants? Well, because they can't see me. <laughs> <laughs> here, uh, more and more uh, vintage. There's a good amount of vintage stuff for this show. And then uh, here we have a wild Ian Schoen. We have a Dave. What's up, jerk face? Pretty good. Pretty good. We got some pens here. Did you sell out of all the hammered ones? Is this the last one? I have a couple. I'm taking this play pot home with me, though. Very. Very nice. Sold out for the day. Show, show the folks at home this uh, this pen. I also have one of these. My hands are full, so I can't show them mine. It's a hammered effect, is what, I think what we what we call it. That's a good effect. I think yeah. We just named it. It's yeah. hammer. It's hammer dish. Hammer dish. Uh, it's yeah. hammer flavored. But it's uh. It tastes like a hammer. Yeah. Great. Hammer flavored. Yeah. But not. Don't t don't taste your hammers at home. Flavor. It's hammer tone. Uh huh. Hammer tone. Hammer tone. Yeah. Because then you can make the hammer. Time, hammer, hammer time. time. Uh -huh. Pull it out when it's hammer time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. When is it not hammer time? It's no, actually, no. it's actually ground-ish and uh, yeah. not hammered, but uh, yeah. looks super cool. You can see, you can see like, if we, I can't tell if we're focusing on that, but you can see like some of the machining bits in there. It looks cool. Yeah, it's, it's very cool neat. Look. I'll be showing this uh, in excruciating detail. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. Uh, so don't try and do it over the. Yeah, 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 that's right. Uh, yeah, I had to get one. And then uh, also, the new these colors. are really con. These new colors, man. So just to highlight some of the things that for this show, is there's like full matching section, matching pen body combos that I made in some of the Sumanagashi, like the blue as well has a matching section. So this is the first time I've done this for this show, which is kind of fun. Uh, and I'll be experimenting more with as time goes on, but I, I did it especially for the DC, or sorry, the Baltimore <laughs> pen show and the Atlanta pen show. I'll have some as well. So. Yeah, some funky stuff. Always trying something new. Yeah. And there's these pink and black ones, which you can't ignore this pink and black one. I'm so I'm actually kind of really into this one. Yeah. Bill Howard says hi. He says he's riding with your pen right now. Oh, heck yeah. <laughs> yep, that's Ian. <laughs> and over here on the other side, if you're into uh, ballpoints instead of fountain pens, Welcome to Ballpoint Land. Jerk face, <laughs> jerk face and Inky D uh, separated at birth. Somebody's <laughs> asking. <laughs> That's awesome. I mean, I get it. Somebody over there asked me if I was Mike. So. Yeah, no, I see the... Um, yeah. mm -hmm. It's like thin up top, thick yeah. on the bottom, uh -huh. round in the middle. That's how they describe me all the time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Glasses. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. Uh, if you get me, you, and Brad in the same place, then uh, uh, he's a little bit tall. Well, he is tall. We'd have to arrange ourselves. Am I taller yeah, than you? Yeah, you are. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 Thanks for thanks for making me admit I just that noticed. on YouTube. I just noticed. That's great. I mean, Mike, you're so tall. I know. Oh yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. I just need a matter of perspective. Yeah. So we. <laughs> then you get our bald spots. And oh yeah, we got to get the bald spot cam. That's yeah. the uh, catch the shiny side of us here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, it's a uh, it's a filter. It's a, it's a bald filter. You get it in excruciating detail. <laughs> That's it. All right, so I'm doing a Mad Libs here. I need some Mad Libs help. Uh, I need a part of the body, Ian. It's a family show. Okay. 
hand. Uh, I also needed a noun. Would you like to give us a noun? Pen. I've already got pen. Oh, okay. oh my second favorite thing, ink. Okay, fine. <laughs> Great, thanks. Let's <laughs> see. Uh, see you in. And here we have Carl's tables. Carl's always got all kinds of great vintage stuff, sometimes lightly used, sometimes uh, picked up from estates, uh, sometimes restored. You never know what you're going to find at Carl's table. I've gotten several things off of this table here in the past. Ooh, some very cool stuff. Are we I'm sorry. What? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Good stuff under glass. <laughs> and also, Carl buys old pens. You got some old pens? Come see Carl. Also, what is this? You bought more than you sold? Oh man, well you gotta work on that. You got a couple days. What is, what is this? Notice the uh, intarsia. Yep. 60 on the architect. Oh, wow. That is holds 88 pens. And they slide out. And whatever you want to put in here. Yeah. Converters, nib units, all kinds of stuff back yep. there. Wow. Oh. I, I like this a lot. Do you? Yeah, I do. You have a lot of money? A lot of money? Oh, I was afraid of that question. I don't know. We'll talk later. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. It's very tempting. I like it. Y'all think I need one of these in my uh, my office somewhere? I think uh, I think maybe. <laughs> we'll see. Oh, I could just get I just get that full of pens. That'd be good. Now we're talking a lot of money. <laughs> Carl's trying to sell stuff here. <laughs> this is Dan Smith over here, folks. <laughs> it is gorgeous. That's for sure. Someone we know should get it. I don't know, man. I don't know if I could swing it. I put that, try to put that in the truck, and Audrey's going to notice. Yeah, <laughs> hey, how's it going? One, you know you want them. <laughs> well, most of them anyway, yeah, for sure. I mean, there's not too many of these. that I, I actually kind of want this, like, a little orange Kaveco Sport, you know? I mean, awesome. who, doesn't, who doesn't need one of those? Yeah, totally. <laughs> totally. This Student 70 Soul, now that's a cool pen. That is a pretty cool pen. I went for the blue one. But I like I like this creamsicle one too, though. Yeah, I know. I know. I do like that. I do like that. And then the Supra. Yep. The original transformer pen. Yeah. Yep. Bring it with you in orbit. Oh, man. You don't have close to 80 pens. Oh well, Brian. You know, I I hear Carl has 80 pens. He can help you fill it. <laughs> Are these Yarda leads back here? Oh, look at that. Wow, Andrew Sorry, Kuhn. Yep. Get your uh, get your hands on these. Very nice. Very nice. Thanks. Let's we'll see it. Also, if you want some ink, we got some of that here. We have a Jackley. This is additive pens. <laughs> this is Jerry. I've reviewed some additive here on the on the blog before. He's got a big old Rhodia pad here in front of you. So when you buy them, this is how you get them. You get the uh, nib and cap and such separate, and you pick the body style that you like. And we've got ribbons and double helixes and all kinds of stuff. Did I go by Brad? No, I haven't gotten to Brad yet. I will. But yep, there's Jerry. And here's what that one looks like. Here's what it looks like with ink in it. Yeah, very cool, that ribbon. I dig it. Hey, Claire, welcome. Then you got the urban sketches of Baltimore. They're not actually here right now. We've got all kinds of ephemera, posters, pins, buttons, vintage pencils by the bag, vintage and modern pens restored. And I want to say he's probably got some he just picked up that might not be restored. There's some even more pens. Oh man, I got to come back here for pens. I'm in trouble. It's gonna be a problem. Pencil sharpeners including these guys, which I really like because you can see the pencil sharpener working on the inside. You've got this, uh, this horrifying bobblehead. If you're into one of those. Cufflinks. 
This pin is gorgeous and I no way I can afford it. This is a, a King of Pin mosaic from Sailor. Uh, I have the regular size one of these, the regular 1911 size, and it is a gorgeous pen. This is the original one, the King of Pen. You got this guy under glass for $1,000. I think that's actually a, it might be an Omos, not an ASC. <laughs> Did Tony get flagged? That's hilarious. And if you're looking for flex nibs, this is the place to find them. Underneath this big balloon. There's a color code here. All the, all the uh, dots are on the pins. It helps you find the pins you're looking for with the kind of uh, nib you're looking for. For flex nibs. And down here, a mosaic was just on Slack. Whew. Yikes. Not into the bobblehead. That bobblehead is horrifying. It'll haunt your dreams. It will haunt them. Hey, how's it going? Good, how are you? Awesome, it's a pin show. <laughs> hey, I was just going to go around you. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Okay. A little bit of live YouTube, showing people what, uh, what they can find here at the Baltimore Pin Show. Well, you can get anything you want. Yep, for sure. You got some pelicans. Uh huh. Just a few. You know, you've got a couple. Just a couple of examples of pelican, you know, if yeah. that's what you're into. Including these guys, which you don't really see very often. No, there's some stuff here that you don't see very often. Yeah. The coral. Yep. The ma oversized magnum. Yep. A 1930 pen. Oh, I don't know the those. The earliest models. Wow. Very cool. A uh, blue pelican 140. Oh, wow. You see them in green stripe all the time. Sure. But solid blue, blue huh? is very uncommon. Very cool. Thanks, man. Here we have the Pin Collectors of America. They have scavenger hunts for kids with prizes. They can go around and find, uh, find pens and all kinds of things in these scavenger hunts. Talk to vendors, learn about pens as they go. Get those kids involved in the fountain pen, uh, fountain pen hobby here. Good white elephant gift. That would, be, that would be good. I should get one as a white elephant gift. Hey, Mike, what's up? Is that a sight? Uh, no, it actually it holds my uh, my microphone ah, sometimes. It's like a sight. That's it, cool. That's, well, you don't need a sight because you can see in the lens. This right. is beautiful. Yeah, thanks. I'm looking forward to seeing this. Oh, it's live. Uh, yeah. Very cool. We're live. Oh my goodness gracious. How's it going, Mike? It's going great. Yeah, it's good. a wonderful show. Yeah, I think so too. It's only day one. I know. We get two yeah. more days of bliss. Yay! Look at this. This is yeah. wonderful. Pretty good. This yeah. is Mike Daigle. You can find him online and at pin shows. We try. Where can they find you, Mike? Well, there's there's my beautiful car with Nick made these and yeah, that's really nice yeah and then that's where that's where you can yep. find me online and mad mercantile yeah stuff like go. that Bam, awesome present mike and future mike that's it that's awesome <laughs> that's it Thanks, carry mike. on that's beautiful <laughs> of course we're looking for parkers watermans hey how's it going do that again yeah good <laughs> why would you do that why i don't know why not okay <laughs> Oh, we're doing a live YouTube here, showing people the uh, Baltimore Pin Show and what they can expect oh, really? to find. Where is that? Oh, it'll be on YouTube on my channel. I'll come bring you a card. You can find it later on. Right on. Right. <laughs> Enjoy. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> hey, how's it going, Terry? Super. Get you back here. Long Island Pen Show next week. Long Island's next week, next huh? Week. If you're near Long Island, come out next weekend, 7th and 8th of March. Long Island's a good little show. Oh, you have two flames next to each other. Look at that. Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> yeah, Long Island's a, uh, a nice little show over at, you're still at Hofstra, right? Yeah, very cool. I haven't been out in a couple of years. But, 14th. Yep. We got Desiderata here. Pierre wearing the uh, the overalls. They're a trademark. We have these very cool uh, pin stands here. Long Island is nice if you're local, especially. Yeah, if you're if you're in that area, you should get to it. Oh, look at these guys. Pierre, what do you have to show us? Oh, oh, Tori, please excuse me. Uh, <laughs> He's just pushing people out of the way to get to the well, camera. This is we have this Chiaro, we have this Chiaro Skiro with 12 contoured facets, 
love a faceted pen. Whittled out of solid German ebonite, hand polished. Only the best. <laughs> Little bulb filler. Very cool. Cellulose acetate ebonite. So except for the nib and the fee, which is stock, Yovo, stainless steel, and ABS, yep. all natural materials for a wonderful feel and great in the pocket. And as a matter of fact, I have one of my own that I carry around with my custom ground 0.4 millimeter italic nib. Oh, who custom ground that for you? I did. You I, did? I did it myself. He looks all shocked. Let's do a writing sample. <laughs> The chat is saying you should do an audio book of materials. <laughs> <laughs> He's actually got pretty decent handwriting, too. Look at this. Thank you. A uh, nib you. can make anything look good, huh? Thank you. It, it definitely can. It, it's all in the nib. There's, there's, it's all in the nib. Uh huh. That's it. So I've got that over here. Then we have the Desiderata Dumka. I was just admiring that. That was a cool looking pen. Oh, well, well, just a moment. Let me get a little bit closer here. This is our. Uh, handmade piston filler out of handmade parts. Let's, let's first, we have to take the cap off so we can fill it. Oh, what's that? Oh. That was, that was pretty quick. It was pretty quick. Let's count the number of starts. That was eight starts, boys and girls. So many starts. So many starts. Oh, this is the uh, the piston you were telling me about last night. Yeah, this is a differential screw piston filler, Kovacs design. Yeah. The uh, the nib collar is the block so that we uh, have a firm stop and yes. we know when to stop unscrewing. Yep. That's the uh, the nut machined yep. in place. Very cool. By hand, that is not super difficult, but very hair raising. <laughs> uh, and you know the cap with. An improved uh, screw connection here, so I think these clips are even more secure than before. Nice. Desiderata Dumka in clear acrylic. And black ebonite. Very cool. Because, you know. People like a black pen. Black? It's, 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 it's black. It's slimming. And, uh, and you know, the mixture. Yep. And. Oh, I like that mixture. I think that mixture looks. I, I really like that smoky one you have, but this mixture is really good looking. Oh, thank you. Very nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like it. I like being able to see the mechanism. You know, that's that's part of the fun of some of these pens. Yeah. When you have like a custom design mechanism and you kind of hide it, like, uh, I don't know, man, I want to see the stuff. Yeah, it's also kind of if you want through all that trouble if you just kind of cover it with black. Right? That's right. But some people just find that demonstrative, yeah. so. It's a good look. Non-discrimination. So the, the, the brand new, those are the brand new things. So there you go. We got some Tux look is best. We got some I'm grabbing one in Chicago. We got some uh, I need this. We got a wow, a holy crap, a lol, a uh, badass, a, a bamf. Uh, we got a, we got a lot of stuff here. So yeah, <laughs> John Phelan is actually commenting from over there. Yeah, he's over there somewhere. We'll get to John here in a bit. Fear not, John. Fear not. All right, I need your hand uh, help with a, uh, a Mad Lib. You, okay. got, you got a word for me? I need a noun. Peanut. Peanut, perfect. Look at that. No hesitation. I like it. Thanks, Pierre. I'm going to put this on air, but uh, we can see you later. Yeah, right on. See you, man. Come see Desert Auto Pens. He's at the end of this row here in the middle. <laughs> and here we have Right Shop Vintage Fountain Pens of all kinds. And here we have uh, uh, Jimmy Dolo's table. There's Jimmy on a phone. He has uh, all manner of things, including this really wild-looking Santorini or Santini. Uh, let's go. Uh, let's go back this way. This is John Veely. He's got uh, leads and uh, American pencil blog books. There he is. He's back at his table now, doing what he's supposed to be doing. I am now doing pencil stuff. Oh, good, good. Somebody's got to do pencil and whiskey stuff. Well, I don't. That doesn't seem right. I, don't know. I wouldn't expect that. We got Joe Nemechek here. Unsurprisingly at a pencil table. Very nice. <laughs> Mouth zipped. <laughs> Parkers. Got some microscopes. Pardon me. 
desk sets ephemera. That's a big old bottle of quank. We bought the blue auto point in Philly. Very nice. Nice. Right, find Brad's here. Yeah, all right. So Brad's actually on the next aisle over. Hey, how's it going, man? Pretty good. I've been hearing a lot of people saying, uh, oh, I got to go look at Nikias. So, uh, a lot of people walked away with Nikias. Yeah, that's what I hear. We're paying for them. Uh -huh. We haven't had that problem. Not going that's away. good. Yeah. Oh, and Danny's here now, too, huh? Uh, a couple. Yeah, a couple uh, of beautiful Danny's. Japanese pens, uh, for the most part, in general. Oh, dorsals. I, uh, and it's a double broad. That's a problem for me, man. I Dorsal uh, fin ones and twos. Uh -huh. I brought 55 Nakayas here this morning. And uh, I, I believe I sold 10 today. Oh, jeez. <laughs> it's been a good day. Yeah, I guess. Dang. I was a little overwhelmed this morning. I know my table partner, Jesse has been coming over here. and uh, I've got one. Um, she was looking at a decopod, I think. Oh, yeah, yeah that's uh, that one. Yeah, look at that. I've been holding that for her, and people have asked about it. And I yeah. said, well, it's on hold right now, but tomorrow morning's going back on the table. I don't know if it is. I think it might be going in Jesse's pocket. Well, I yeah. Know. I've been trying to hold it for her. Yeah. <laughs> when I, I get over there, I'll tell her to come I, over here. No, I don't want to pressure her. <laughs> I'm a low-pressure guy, but uh, the pens kind of sell themselves. There are others, but when somebody says, gee, I sort of like it, but you have one with a clip, I, I usually pull it out and say, if you're interested, I need to go ask Jesse if she wants it. Yeah. And so far, it's still there for her. Yeah, beautiful. Oh, emperor oh, nibs. This is one There's a nib you don't see very often, this emperor right here. The guys. overfeed, yeah, that's okay. a specialty sailor yeah, nib. We got some gathered. Is this a blind? All kinds of cool sailors here. Ah, this is, a, this is a bad table to be standing next to. I have never met you before. There you go. We have Gina over here doing nib grinds, custom nib studio. And uh, let's see. Oh, some stuff's covered up. It's no good. We are getting, <laughs> it's, what is this? It's been a little bit over an hour. We got here a Michael's fat boy. Uh, Michael's iron. We got here a Carrie. <laughs> Gina's downright pleasant. Gina is. I hadn't hung out with Gina much. Then I was chatting with her a good bit in uh, Philly, and she is delightful. Some more vintage ephemera, etc. This is the penmarket.com. There's Nathaniel. From the pen market. Hello, pen fans. That's him. We have awesome new pens this year. Awesome new pens. Check out this limited edition Visconti Voyager Demonstrator. Uh -huh. One of only 888. Ooh. Look at that clip. That's an old style clip right there. Yeah, it's even got a gold nib, not one of those modern fangled steel things. <laughs> Let me tell ya. Very cool. Right. He's also got some Lamy 2000s with unusual nibs that he got from Germany over here. He's been right. bragging about. If you need some obliques, come see him. Obliques. What are you, what are you doing here, Jesse? Uh-oh, Jesse's behind us. Okay. Uh, if I can Watch hit this out. with my... I'm trying to... There we go. There's Jesse, my table mate. She's apparently left all of our stuff unguarded yeah. uh, and open. No, I sold it all. Oh, oh good. Uh -huh. Good, I, I take checks. It's good. Hi, guys. Yeah, there's a Jesse. Uh, we were just seeing, looking at your Nakaya over there. Yep. I have to sell more before I can buy it. <laughs> well, you know, he uh, he said, oh, a lot of people are interested in it. And I'm like, well, yeah, Go show yeah. them the uh, Franklin Kristoff's on our table. Okay, I will. Yeah. I just haven't gotten over there yet. You're slow. I know, I've been it's talking. It's been over an hour. <laughs> I know, I've been talking to people and having yeah, a good see, time. Yeah. It's uh, 5.07. <sighs> yeah, it is. You're slow. All right, well, some people are holding me up, just chatting and uh, not being productive. It's like, Nathaniel. Uh, oh. Nathaniel, what are you doing? All right. All right, we're going to keep going. Now the awkward time when you're pushing the button to turn it around and it takes forever. It's not that awkward when I can actually use my whole finger. Get out of here. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Nathaniel. Go see. Go to the pin market if you're not coming to the show. He has a good online presence as well. See you, man. We have uh, here rigs. These are, my, these are my backyard neighbors, so to speak. I am on the other side of this, this uh, banner if you're looking for me tomorrow. How's it going, folks? Wonderful, yeah, wonderful. Yeah. We're nice back again. Uh, just Thank recently returned from the show. Philly Pen Show. Yep. And uh, we have a new additions to our line. These uh, center pens here are all our handmade fountain pens, uh, all entirely made of exotic uh, and domestic hardwoods, Yovo nibs. People are commenting on your upgraded display. 
They like it. Um, well, yeah. I'm very <laughs> pleased with that. We tried to try to keep it natural looking here because we're all about the wood, you know. Wonderful. And they have a backdrop. This is, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's, a, it's a nice logo. I like it. It's good. It's really good. Well, we hope to be around for a while. That's good, man. Thanks very much, Here's, uh, there, there's Mike Allen. Oh, well, there was a Mike Allen anyway. Yep. This is uh, Woodshed Pins here. It's got a few pins for sale. I guess you can come and buy those if you want from this guy. I don't know. Yeah. Diapers and dog food, please. I assume both of those are for you, the diapers and the dog food? Yes. Yeah, good. I'm getting to that age. Uh -huh. yeah, we, we, yeah, we could use that also. You're right. <laughs> he doesn't want to leave the table. That's what, he, uh, that's what he needs. Are you keeping an eye on my... I'm keeping an eye on yourself. Thanks, sir. Appreciate it. Since Jesse decided to wander off on duty. She has some important stuff to do. Uh -huh. I have to go over. Okay, good. She said it was primo important take. Okay, good. <laughs> hey, folks. How's it going? We have all kinds of things. Jewelry, pens, luggage tags. You never know what you're going to find at a pen show. You just never know. <laughs> there you go. It's a really nice dip pen holders. Pretty dip pens, yes. You can even find bags at our neighbor. I know. I love these bank boxes. Yeah. Know, these are exactly what this, I had in college. He bought this wall, built this wall. Good fences make good neighbors. <laughs> <laughs> See, sometimes you have to have a wall, you know? That's, uh, there you go. Good fences make good neighbors, she says. <laughs> oh, man. Post office box banks. Brings you back to the college days. Pen trays, pens themselves, and magazines. Snorkel demonstrator. Very cool. Oh, fantasy snorkels. I see what's going on in here now. Very cool. Very cool. Come check these out or find him online at fantasysnorkel.com. Very cool. <laughs> also, pen trays. More of vintage. You need one of those? Yeah, you do, Valerie. You need to get one of those. Well, you were drinking. I didn't want to interrupt. What do you have to tell us about? Uh, oh, now he's on the spot. Uh, a, don't forget to get your copy of the Definitive Guide to Vintage Waterman Pens. Very cool. You can find it at gopens.com. Right on. Yep. Go Pens. Check it out. I'll get your Waterman Definitive Guide. The first six decades, it's a, that's an undertaking. Well done. <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> here, Federalist Pins and Papers. They sell the trays there? Yeah, he definitely sells the trays here. And I keep forgetting to buy them, but since they're right behind me, I might actually remember. There's Mark. We find all manner of uh, modern things here. Wherever you get to see it live? Well, you get to see it live because I've been going for over an hour. Hey, Frank. Well, thanks. Well, thanks. Tomoe River. We got some Robert Osters. We got some Colorverse. We got Newlers. All kinds of ink here. Buckets of paper. A much more efficient way to put paper out than stacking it. There's Les from Stylo Suite. Didn't even know you were here today, man. I haven't seen you yet. Doing good. Doing good. You having a good time? Yeah. Happy Friday. Thanks. Come see this dude for all kinds of uh, flex modifications and pens and just like talk flex with this dude. He'll teach you all about it. <laughs> <laughs> of course, Richard Bender. He's doing some uh, some some uh, nib alterations and fixing and grinding. You find him right here next to the doors. Opus Meacham. Dale is out here. Don't worry about it, folks. Uh, Dale Pencala is not at the table at the moment, but he makes all kinds of very cool uh, pens, watch parts and such you've seen before, I'm sure. Is that Nick? Uh, Nick's around here somewhere. I'm not sure where he is. You got Bob. Oh, you're doing both? <laughs> Bob Everett here is, uh, well, if you want a Schaefer. Oh, uh, no, that's not Nick. Then you see, uh, or at least not, it's not a Nick I know. If you need some Schaefers, come see Bob. Because, man, very cool stuff. Appreciate the hour? Thanks, appreciate it. Including these lamps, which I'm always, uh, I'm always tempted by these lamps. I think I need a big Schaefer lamp for my office, maybe? I don't know. We'll see. Vintage script. You have the Kennedys. 
this show is great for uh, uh, nib modifications and uh, uh, and repairs. Here we have some really epic leather work, including these stools, which are incredibly uh, incredibly comfortable stools. You can find them here. This is Gabor. He makes these things. Eyeglasses case, card wallets, minimalist, minimalist wallets, field notes, uh, note covers, pen wraps. Really nice pen wraps. I'm a huge fan of these. The off-color stitching and different color leathers are gorgeous. Notebook covers. <laughs> Some Ackerman ink. <laughs> Midori journals. Rhodia pads. Here we have Jama Mama Bookshop. Let's see if I can back up without running into people. I thought I'm doing this today. Schaefer Lamp is bomb. Uh, Jama Mama does all kinds of very cool uh, journals. It's very nice design. She's going to be one of the makers that will be on the panel tomorrow in the paper panel. Don't forget to watch that. That'll be on uh, 4 o'clock ish, live streamed. Hey, how's it going? You can get a fresh notebook. Here are notebook pieces. Filled with sugar cane paper, all fountain friendly. I love sugar cane paper. It's great stuff. This is why I learned about it. Good. Oh, you learned about it here? Yep, three years ago. Awesome. Yep, so come see, uh, or don't forget to tune in for that if you're not going to be in town. Uh, great makers on that, uh, on that panel. See you later. Find her at Jama Mama Bookshop. Oh, we got a few pocket knives on display here. Some very nice looking watches. Some vintage and modern pens, of course. Uh, then we have uh, here Alan Hirsch. There's Alan. He's chatting with folks behind him. And here, Alan does almost entirely vintage, all kinds of restores. How's it going, man? Good. Also buys old fountain pens, it says on his button. Uh, I mean, one of, one of many buttons. <laughs> How tired of you when you t are you when you like take that off at the end of the day? Does it feel like a relief? It is. It's like losing ten pounds. <laughs> well, you're wearing a metal vest, so you know. <laughs> that's true. It's also bulletproof. Oh, that's good. At least in like some spots. Yes. <laughs> More vintage stuff here. Let me turn around and get the folks I walked past, and we'll come back and uh, a little bit of. Here's Lee Marink, who was commenting on the, who was commenting earlier. He's uh, busy in the middle of a pen sale. I'm not gonna. Oh, you got a. Oh, you got a Kiridas, huh? Look at you. Are you Kiridas about it? I am Kiridas. Here a little click. Into the microphone. I was trying to look at it on my video. Stop moving. Uh, you can tell this guy does a podcast and not a video channel. This guy right here. Yes. Very yes, cool. Yes. And yours is uh, yours is not broken, which is good. Somebody broke the one over at Luxury Brands. Well, it's okay. What's cool is... Did you is, break it? No, it's the spring though comes out, so you can see down the barrel. Look at that spring. Yeah. That is... Uh, it's like automotive grade. That is serious business, that spring. I mean, putting it together like a pro. Like one of those pros. I've had a few times. I'm not going to demonstrate taking the clip off. Because I don't even have the tool with me. Because I knew you'd ask, and I'd go flying across the, the show. So. Nice. <laughs> Thanks, John. Come see Lemur Inc. for uh, all kinds of pens, inks. so I don't buy it. He really wants somebody to take that off his hands. Yeah. Uh, he, he doesn't want to buy it. He wants to buy it. Don't, don't, just don't buy it. No Lemur wants it. John, John would like to keep it. Uh huh. <laughs> also need to pay rent, though, so. <laughs> next, to, next to them, Conalea pens. <laughs> Carol from Conalea. Right here. Let's, uh, this is my table over this area. There's Jesse. Hey, what's up? Long time no see. Neat, huh? So we have, a, we have a crazy amalgam of stuff at this table. So Jesse has some of her pins from her collection she's selling. We've got some pins here that are on a Reinert's pins we're selling. Uh, You sold me a bunch of stickers. Thanks. And you owe me money. And I owe you a dollar? Yeah. Well, that seems weird, but all right. But I have 10 bucks for 15. Yay. 
Um, <laughs> I have some uh, some pins out of my collection I'm selling, some custom made stuff, a zillion pen rests. This is a There are several Franklin Christophs over here. Oh, there are several Franklin Christophs over here from the Jesse and Anna collection. Uh, Franklin Christophs. So that means 45s, some 45 longs. That kind of thing. That's their jam. There are some pretty ones. There's at least two. Are you watching are you watching the video? Very nice. Yeah. What's going on? I don't know. Across the stream. Oh yeah, there we go. There's there's the infinite recursion right there. <laughs> um, my sign is not lit up, so you're gonna have to look for the regular old sign. It's fifty bucks a day for power here in the middle. Uh, and so I said I don't need a I don't need power that bad. Uh, so anyway, I've got uh, pen rests and such here for sale. I've got a couple of my uh, limited edition Franklin Christoph pens left, so you're in, if you're into those. I've got a couple of those here, and I'll have some online here in the very near future, like sometime next week. Uh, so there we go. Also, nail polish. If you're a nail polish fan, uh, I've got some of Audrey's nail polish here available for sale as well. From like one to five bucks. Can you go deeper? I don't know. I don't think so. <laughs> We've done that before? I don't know. And here we have uh, Iron Feather Creatives. My, uh, my neighbor's down one. Hey, how's it going, folks? Doing great. How are tell, you? tell us about what you have. This is your first pen show, right? First pen show. It's been awesome. I've got uh, most of my pens, or a lot of my pens, are hand-carved. They're uh, all Jonathan Brooks uh, blanks that I start out with. And some of them are ones that he and I came up with, like the, the ivories, the greens and some of the silvers, but as I said, they're hand carved and I do all the silver work, sterling silver stops and, and castings. Um, super, super group of people. I'm, I'm really excited about the show. Like this one has a little slug going over the top of it. Uh, it's yeah. adorable. Yeah, that one is carved with the, uh, with a silver leaf over it. It's, uh, it's been kind of funny. <laughs> people are responding pretty, they like it. They get a kick out of it. Well, I sure. hope somebody likes it enough to take it home. That would be nice. Because yeah. that's very cool. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> it's very cool. Yeah, thanks, Mike. And uh, you can find him. Do uh, you have a website? There we go. I do. Yeah, Iron Feather Creatives. Creative.com. Check him out there. Yeah, they do look great. And they look even better in person, honestly. Uh, thank you. So, very nice. Very nice. Thanks, thanks guys. Thank thanks. Yeah, of course. <laughs> and then here we have the Pin Geek share the wealth table. Uh, not the pen geek sitting here, though. I know. We already saw him, and he was like, oh, I'm, uh, I'm going to wander around a bit. So he's gone. I don't yeah. know where he is. So at this table, you'll find all kinds of things that are yours to play with, in the case of nib testers, but also for, uh, I don't know, if you see something that you don't have. A lot of this stuff has been donated by uh, fellow pen nerds who are like, hey, I would like to share the wealth of some of this stuff I have. So you've got pens. And these guys. And these guys. A lot of donations from these guys. Oh, yeah, Pin Boutique. Yeah, we were talking about who all has uh, donated stuff. It's very cool. list is right there. Yep, Yaffa, Pin Boutique, and the Pin Community. That's it. And I'm Jesse. I'm in the Baltimore and D.C. club helping out, and I'm teaching Fountain Pen 101 tomorrow. Over here and check that out. So if you've got some stuff that you, uh, you know, just don't use anymore and you'd like to pass along to newbies or somebody else in the hobby, bring it over. And if you're a newbie or somebody in the hobby... Come and, uh, you know, grab something. There you go. Thanks, man. This is a very cool table. I'm glad this is a thing. Oh, we got this guy. This, this is Dan. You're not there? That's good. Yep. Hugh is definitely not back there. No, 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 no. He's not. I don't know who that guy is. Yeah. No, nobody does. Yeah. Nobody does. So what do you have for us today, Dan? What should, what should people know about? We've got a whole bunch of new pens that I've got finished. Um, and... Um, we got uh, a new style with uh, and nice finish, block threads, squared up, easy going, works good, lasts a long time, don't rust. That's, that's good, that's a good pitch. Yeah, yeah. Works good, lasts a long time, doesn't rust. <laughs> if you don't get it wet. <laughs> You can even get it wet. It's going to be hard for these things to rust. Uh, it's acrylic. What can you say? Oh, man. This stripey one here is very cool. You know, Both I'm, of those stripey I'm, ones. I'm finding a lot of people have been really attracted to the, to the yeah. stripe-type finish pens. Yeah, vertical stripes you don't see a whole lot. No, no. No. And I found a place where I could get some, some really nice, consistent acrylic. So it's working out well. Nice. These are some of my old legacy pens. Yeah, yeah. I'm, no, I'm, getting, I'm getting back into doing the carving and the... Yeah. That, 
um, that I used to do. Now that I'm fully retired and don't have to worry about doing it for a living. This is all available. This is where you can find Dan. Right there. All right. <laughs> Thanks, Dan. Oh, and here's a here's another vertical stripe in case you didn't get enough of those. This red and white candy cane looking vertical stripe. I dig it. All right. A lady that belongs to one of the other pen manufacturing companies that loves pink pens. So I always bring pink pens to see if I can sell one. Have you gotten done yet? She's not here. She didn't come in today. So, oh well. Thanks a lot. Have a good day. And then we got this guy. Uh, this is uh, this is Joe Grace. This is other Joe, not Grace. What is your last name? Lebo. Lebo. So the Joes have a table here. This is gentleman stationery. You might know him from the internet. Yes, and we've got uh, we've got blog swag. We've got your coasters, your buttons, your TGS stickers. Uh huh. We've got write notepads. We've got pocket pens. The exclusive retailer of two non-fountain pen products, the Baltimore Pen Shop. Very nice. Very nice. So if you're looking for write notepads, uh, go to here, uh, gentlemen. Joe. Have, have we been corrupted? I don't know. Graphite is right. Oh, it burns us. There's been it some. Burns. Been some. Burns. Uh, I'm going to have to get some of these pocket pens, though. These are eight bucks for three little pocket pens called pocket pens. I've had my eye on these for a little while. I don't know why I haven't gotten any. I just haven't done it. So I'm going to have to get some. Uh, but, yep, <laughs> I asked to try my pocket pen. Nice. Uh, but also write notepads. Some of my, uh, my favorite. I use these, uh, these landscape pads at the desk all the time. Uh, they live there. Let's come find him. They look like this. They're in kind of the middle of the room. Here we have Montegrappa, Estabrooks, some other people not at their own table. Nobody talks about ink dependence. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Nobody at all. Hey. Oh, let me tilt the camera way down. <laughs> I've been giving Lisa a hard time all weekend. I mean, it's only been a day, but what are you, uh, what are you, what are you showing off here? Opposite ends here, we have the brand new uh, Rhodia pencils, and uh, then Can we have on though? the other end this we have these lovely people. Esterbrooks. He's live. Is it always live? Uh, it's a pen show. It is. So can you see how many people are actually tuning in right we know now? No, it is live. Yeah, 105. <laughs> well, you're asking if it's live. Yeah, it's 104 right now. Hey, everybody. You've got 104 Tell people it, actually listening on your live feed. Oh, pins show pins. Oh, oh, yeah. Come That's see some. That's pretty cool. And now this isn't blood. And it's hand just sanitizer. Pink. Everybody needs a, a I a wish I'd got a mask to wear. Like, wouldn't that be funny to go around in a mask? What do y'all think? Should uh, we put Mike in a mask tomorrow? I've got a beard. It wouldn't work out. It was useless. That's true with the CDC. I know. So I had to shave my beard. I don't know what that's about. That's pretty cool. Uh, but yeah. So yeah, rodeo pencils and uh, ballpoint pens. Actually, that ballpoint pen is pretty darn cool looking with that bright orange. I gotta I say, like where'd you pick that up from? Like that. Rodeo. Like oh. <laughs> oh. Are you selling those? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I thought you were getting them from Carrie for some reason. I'm like, that's no, weird. I just happen to be carrying it around. Yeah. I was talking to him, and then he, you know what? Everybody, I have ADD. Okay. Who doesn't? Right. Quit bragging. Okay, so what we need here, um, we need we need to finish these Mad Libs. Um, all right, so I need uh, I need a verb. I haven't done Mad Libs in like forever. I know nobody Ever has. Oh. Carrie, give me a verb. Uh, action. <laughs> no, that's. Not <laughs> what are you doing? What is this? <laughs> action. Yes, a verb is an action. So if you're gonna think of, I'm gonna do I've an action. I've been with a five-year-old for six weeks. That's fine. Uh, how about uh, do you want to? Uh, I don't know. Desire. No, that's it. That's an adjective. Well, could it be? It could be either. I guess. Yeah, it could be desire. See. Ah. Fair enough. Uh, we need a name of a celebrity. Brad Downey. <laughs> <laughs> She said that. You better come I wish back I could use you. We could use you, right? I you could have, but it's too late. <laughs> uh, and now we need a noun. Person, Carrie. place, or thing. Person, on, place, or thing. I don't want to. I let them do it uh, on regular uh, weeks. Oh, then you guys do it. Like we're not that smart. You know what? I'm gonna let Brad do the next one because he's a celebrity. So I'm gonna let Brad get the last one. I use. Uh, I need a I need a noun. A noun? Oh man, is this like an English test? No, it's a Mad Lib. <laughs> okay. It's a person, place, or thing. Okay, uh, blue. <laughs> is that a noun? That's a color. That's a color. Is that an ad? It could be an adjective. 
<laughs> give, no, give me a noun. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's an adjective. I need a noun, though. Okay. Uh, I asked them for a celebrity, and they said Brad Dowdy. Oh, nice. Lisa Brad. did, yeah. She looked right at me, and she said Brad Dowdy. I'm never going to let that down. No, you're not. Penn celebrity Brad Dowdy here. Uh, when is Jeopardy, and is it going to be streamed? Jeopardy is tomorrow night, and I don't think it's going to be streamed. No. Sadly, I'm not going to be there. I've got another thing I have to do. At, I was at like 7 or something? Yeah, I've going out to a friend's birthday. I oh, oh, shoot. He just said I had to be murdered in Roman Coliseums. She saw it. I'm in trouble now. It is Baltimore. It's Baltimore, so I'm, I'm very likely to be murdered. Yes, yeah, so you just hedged, hedged your bets. It's yeah. probably going to happen. You have anything cool that people need to know about here? Yeah. New Sapelo XL Black. Everyone's been, we love our bright colors, but hey, we got to mix in the black and gray sometimes. So, yeah. Yeah, I've got the yellow and blue one. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. So, that's the cool one right now. You have a uh, very bright colored Tallulah as well, the purple and pink and blue. Yep. Very cool. Thanks, Brad. Pin celebrity Brad Dowdy, everyone. <laughs> it's that guy. Oh, man. You know, Chicago Pin Company. And Tallulah's good. Yeah, I... Uh, oh, no, go ahead. You're fine. I'll just go around you. Let me find them at Chicago Pin Company. Thanks, Thaz. And then uh, down here, this is Joe's table. Baby time. Yeah, the streamer's back. Huh? No, no, this is YouTube, man. Yeah, yeah, it's YouTube Live. Yeah, so this is... I got to back way up for these cameras. This is ArushiPen.com. Thanks, man. Whew. And then, uh, kind of last but not least, we got Ryan Krusak over here. I saw that, Brian. Sorry, man. And here. What's up, Ryan? Hey, how's it going, everyone? Pretty, pretty good so far. My arm's tired. It's been uh, an it's been 87 minutes. 87 gotta, minutes. You're on fire. I gotta call it quits. You okay. got anything uh, good here that people need to see before my arm falls off? Uh, let's see. I've got finally for the first time in a really long time. Um, I've done some hand painted stuff. I've been getting migraines, so the hand painted stuff has been few and far between. Ugh. Uh, I pulled off a handful of things. Um, I've got one left of the Bluebird limited edition here with Spalta Magnolia on the top, hand painted on moose antler. Really nice. Thank you. Yeah. We have a koi back here, I see. Yeah. Yes. Koi or two. And some butterflies on flowers. This work is, I can understand why this gives you migraines. This is, uh, <laughs> that is tiny, tiny work. It is, it is, it's tiny work, but. Very nice, man. Also, I was looking at this pen as I went by. Oh, yeah. That is, that is, that came out super cool. That is the rarest thing I've ever worked with. It's called African Blackwood Burl, and it is a type of rosewood. And while African Blackwood in itself is not necessarily rare, it is truly the blue unicorn of woods to find the burl. It just is unobtainium, so. Very nice. Yeah. Very nice. Thanks very much, Ryan. So yeah, come find you. him. He's like way back here in this corner. Uh, so this is, a, this is a pretty good sized ballroom, actually. It is. It's a big ballroom. Was it? Was it like more than one room last year? Because I uh, I don't remember it being this being like this. I don't remember it being this big last year, but yeah, I feel like it was a different ballroom or something. But it, I don't think it was. I do twelve shows a year; they're all a big blur. And yeah. I don't remember which show is which, honestly, from yeah. show to show. This is the one you're at. That's the yeah, one you remember. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Thanks, man. All right. See cheers. ya. All right. I was one room last year. Two years. The two rooms the year before. Somebody says. Okay. All right. Fair enough. All right, I'm gonna sit down here in this chair. Oh. All right, so that's, um, that's the Baltimore Pin Show, and uh, my arm is falling off legitimately. So it's actually Mad Libs time. Um, so, so here goes the Mad Libs.
is just roughly scribbled in. Uh, the Spy Hall of Fame honors the dogs of that polished profession known as spying. Inductees include Ian Schoen Bond, famously known as Double Agent 014. The spy was a han was the spy was as handsome as he was expensive. Not only did Bond nab the bad hospital every time, he always won the elbow of the blue woman as well. Everybody wants the elbow of the blue woman. Uh, Chuck Eagleheart Spyglass, with her, was designing an. Uh, a beautiful pair of night vision pens are holding a tiny camera inside a gold dog that a spy could wear around his hand. Chuck was the go-to ink for his wizard He was the go-to ink for his wizardry and surveillance. Joe the spy. Joe is not your typical peanut next door. His, <laughs> his high school yearbook denoted him as most likely to desire. Who would have thought this average Joe would be the Brad Dowdy of the spy world when he single-handedly took down an international ring of tree robbers? Well, there you go. So, <laughs> perfect, perfect. Uh, so good. I'm glad that uh, I'm glad that y'all hung out. I hope this was uh, was a pretty fun uh, video, and uh, I will see y'all uh, next week on the interwebs. Uh, if you're coming by, come say hi. Obviously, I've got a table with Jesse, which I have to get back to because uh, I've been letting her uh, freehand that place. So, thanks very much. We'll see y'all later. And uh, those of you who are coming up tomorrow, I'll see you then. And um, that's it. Peace out.